guys, how you doing? It's Henry of Mowers and Blowers again. Uh, as you guys saw from my last video, my dog had completely wrecked my uh, mesh screen door over here, right? He was like running in and out of it, right? That kind of gave me an idea, hey, maybe I should add like a doggy door, you know what I mean? I've seen them on TV and stuff, and this is my first time thinking about doing it. So, uh, as you saw from my last video, I, uh, I fixed the screen. It was only like an $11 item on eBay, you know. It's called a uh, screen door repair kit, you know. It's good for like two windows or one door, you know. Anyway, so it gave me an idea. Why don't I put a little doggy door here so he can go out and pee whenever he wants to in the backyard, you know. I got this on eBay too. It was only $19.99. You know, it's, you know... Decent uh, strength plastic, right? Kind of swivels like that, right? And there's like a little magnet on the bottom over here. So the dog or cat can go through and it closes. Go out and closes, right, eventually. I believe these two tabs, you take them off, flip them upside down, and you could stick them in these slots over here. There's two slots here so that you can actually lock it so that he can't go out, you know? So then I was thinking to myself, well, what about the mosquitoes and the flies? They'll fly through here. But I actually read the instructions and you'll see what happens, how that works. Um, it seems like it might be a pretty easy job, but it'll, I'm, I'm always concerned that, you know, that mesh uh, stuff over there is the screen it doesn't seem all that strong you know what I mean so if you have a decent sized dog you'll fly through there back and forth back and forth back and forth and eventually the screen is just gonna be floppy and stuff you know but my plan is to just do that of course ideally you want to have some kind of a metal frame that goes over here and over here that holds this together nicely, you know? But we'll see how it goes first, you know? If it works, it works, you know? But again, you know, it wasn't expensive. A new a new screen repair kit, like I said, is only $11. This is only $19.99. So we're talking about very, very economically co uh, cost over here. You'll need a hammer if you want. You know, I don't really think it's that necessary and a screwdriver to pry top and the bottom part off and eventually you'll need a razor blade to cut the mesh three sides left right bottom so as you saw this was the video of me fixing that mesh screen door as you can see My dog has ruined my uh, screen. Bought one of these rescreening kits. Covers one screen door or two windows. 11 bucks. See how easy that was? It was like less than two minutes. Now we're going to get started. Just remove the screen door. Remember not to flip it around or anything because you know you want the door right here. Right? Just going to move it like this. Keeping in mind that this is that corner that I want to be at. Right? <clears throat> 
but it's going to look like that. Seems pretty cool. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these tabs. Uh-huh. Bober, how big is that door? How big is that hole? Why are you digging holes? Stop digging holes, man. Jesus. Look at that hole, man. Boba, stop digging. Crap. Just going to remove these tabs. Careful not to cut yourself. That's easy. Remember, hold the razor blade at an angle and push downwards. That'll give you the best cutting angle without much effort. Or like I just did, cutting too much of the frame. There it is right there. And I believe that this goes like this. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted, if you didn't want the dog to go out at night and you wanted to close your screen, it doesn't seem to be that good. It seems kind of flimsy actually. What do you want? It's 1999, right? Anyway, so uh, you need to open up the two sides, the bottom and the top. What did I just do with the screwdriver? Aha! Uh -huh. That's where the screwdriver went. See, that, that kid, I'm telling you, he's crazy, man. Boba, give me the screwdriver. Give me the screwdriver. I mean, you don't really need a screwdriver, but it tells you you can use a screwdriver if you can't get this part. But look, it just comes apart pretty easily. I don't, I don't suppose you should open it too many times because uh, cheap plastic, you know, keep opening it too many times, it won't seal too well. You just want to do it like once. You don't want to keep opening it. Then you gotta open up the inside part too, the inside gate. I'm doing this very carefully. Normally I just rip it apart, but I know with from experience, like IKEA furniture, if you guys ever bought IKEA furniture and you put it together, once you put that screw in, that's it. If you decide that you want to take that IKEA furniture apart and unscrew it again, forget it. It'll be so loose. It'll never be the same again. Well, get what you pay for. And I'm cheap, so... I shop at Ikea quite a bit. Alright, so it looks like it's all apart. Make sure you see that it... I see it's two parts that flap. See? This part flaps, that part flaps. So we'll now uh, try to match that up. So I'm doing the bottom right. I don't think it matters which side you use. As you can see from this part here, you can see the little magnets over here. It's my razor blade. That's right. Oof. Just line that up like this. step on it here so it won't move. Line that up. It's pretty good. Take 
take your little hammer here and bang lightly. I can feel it breaking the mesh as I'm tapping it in there. Oh, this one is awful. Make sure every side is clipped on, and it seems like it is, once you get it to match the other side. I would think that you should have put some, I should have put some glue, but it doesn't tell you to do that, so I'm not going to do it. The manufacturer knows better, right? And then I do the same thing with the inner part. Not the clips, but the uh, the hole and the shaft. I can feel them going in when you tap them. Maybe you should use a clean hammer. As you can see, it's white, so you have a dirty hammer to make your white thing look dirty. I don't care. It's not the space shuttle. It's installing the doggy door, that's all. That's it. A federal case out of things, man. It'll work, it'll work. It doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't work, I'll go buy a new screen. $11. Oh, you see? What happened to my razor blade? Open. Did you take the razor blade? It's not good if you took the razor Give me the razor blade. Open. Where's the razor blade? That's not good. My dog has the razor blade somewhere. Or he hit it. I gotta find the razor blade. So I can't find the razor blade, but I don't think Boba ate it because um, it doesn't have anything in his mouth. Not only that, I don't think he could pick up the razor blade to eat it, you know? If it was so thin. I think he just messed with it with his paws and it went down one of those mesh things or uh, the uh, you know the gaps there did you guys see what he did with it I gotta go back to the vi uh, videotape again he did take the razor blade took it to the lawn somewhere and I found it could have hurt himself huh Anyway, so here we go. This is installed. It was pretty easy, right? I mean, I was extra careful. I would have just plopped this on, you know, like three seconds or something like that. But I want to make sure this is right, you know? It seems kind of, it kind of seems pretty solid, actually, you know, with it on here. But here's the true test. You're going to cut right here. That's it. Left side, bottom, and right side. You're just going to slice it. That's all you're going to do. Boom. 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 Holy cow. That's cool. It's very cool. I'm going to put it on the wall now. Or the door frame.
Hey, Boba, come here, come here. Come here, I want to try this. That's cool, man. Boba, come here. Come, come, I want you to try something. Go, go, go inside, go. Look, 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 Boba, look. Boba, look. Ooh, look, Boba. Oh, look, here. Boba, come in. Come in. Look. Look, look. Come in. Come in. See? Look. Boba, come here. Come. Boba, come in. Boba! Uh, well, he's going to see it opening and closing and that you can go in and out. You know what I mean? So it's going to take a while for him to adjust to what the hell that white thing is. You know what I mean? But uh, that was pretty cool. It was so easy to install. You know what I mean? Uh, unless your dog is like scared of new things. You know, he looks at it and he goes, oh, that's not normal. I've never seen that before. What is that? Boba. Look, look, look. Look at it. Go in here. Come here. Boba, come here. Boba. That's pretty cool, man. That was well worth it. Nineteen ninety nine. That's all it costs. Nineteen ninety nine. Well, I'll uh, throughout the day I'll see if he uses it, and uh, if he uses it, I'll try to get it on tape. Anyway, that's how you install a little doggy door in your mesh sliding screen door for nineteen ninety nine in like eight minutes. You know, it's super easy to put on. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Don't worry, he'll get it. If you're concerned about the size, I forgot to mention, this is the largest size they have. Um, I believe they might even have an extra large, but it's always sold out. So I figured this one would be more than big enough for him. But they have a medium and a small too. Well, it's going to take a while for my doggy to adjust. It's a pretty cute dog, isn't he? Anyway, thanks for watching. Support my channel. Buy a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram, at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, mowersblowers.com. Henry, next time on blow, blow, uh, Blowers and... See, you just screwed that all up. I take two. Henry, see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Great yeah. Time.